Welcome to another episode of Will There Be Cake. I'm your host, Amber Simpson. With me, my co-host, lovely co-host here, Robert Lamb. Yo. And joining us again, Brett. Hi. Yay. Brett, he's back. <laughs> today is May 25th. Do you know what today is, Robert Lamb? Yeah, it's a I national actually do. holiday. This is a na- this is one this that's is a real not holiday. like the goofy ones that that we normally right. celebrate. This is a a real holiday. It's official. Yeah. Well, we're trying to celebrate some of the real holidays. Yeah. Uh, along with mixing the, the real one every once in a while. Yeah. Today get, is get real. Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Not the most upbeat holiday, but it, it's not one s- where we're gonna have a lot of jokes, probably. Right. But <laughs> it's worth but celebrating. It's yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Definitely. All right. So Memorial Day. What? Uh, what? Brett. Brett, what is Memorial Day? <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> wow, you really threw that one on me. Huh? <laughs> I have a long answer and a short answer, but I'll, my long answer is more opinionated. Um, but Memorial Day is uh, the one day a year as a nation we uh, observe and pay tribute to those that have fallen in war. And um, yeah. yeah, just uh, make sure that we're living our lives as happy as we can and showing appreciation for those that sacrifice themselves for uh, their country. Right. Yeah, for our yeah. freedom. All right. It's a day for honoring those people. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a national holiday. Like, we get it off and mm-hmm. everything like that. And it's, I mean, a lot of people do, like, barbecues and stuff. But it's right. for yeah. the remembrance of, yeah. Well, I've, I've, I've had a couple of, you know, I kind of I kind of balance back and forth between, um, because I've go out and I play on Memorial Day weekend and I play like on the beaches and, and live you see music. A, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you see a lot of people partying and you know, it's Sunday fun day is like Mach 12 because they have Monday off. Right. 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 Um, you know, and you know, like I remember one time I was playing this one gig on Memorial Day weekend and there was this really drunk lady who just yelled out, thanks to all of our veterans. And I was oh like, "That's God. that's in November. Like, like yeah, yeah, anyone anyone that you're thanking is not here. Yeah, you know, yeah, for, that's. For yeah. I think people do get it confused. They a do lot, the difference. Yeah, it's some. It's. I mean, it's fine to still thank the veterans. Yeah, right? it like, is. That's, yeah. yeah, that's. But but that's not technically and, what. Yeah, and I've I've spoken to um to a few veterans as well, and I'm, I remember speaking to one specifically last year, and she was like, "Yeah, this isn't a day I celebrate. Like, I I lost my friends, yeah. you know, with that I served with, and sure. that day's about them. It's kind it's kind of a it's a sad day, yeah, uh, for us." And then I had this other guy say, "You know, my I think it might have been his grandfather that also died in the war. He's like, but." My grandfather died because he wants us to be having right. barbecues and getting drunk and having a good yeah. time because that's what that's what he will. So I think, that, yeah, there's different ways. I to mean, look yeah. At. yeah, I do think that people like it because of the extra day or the weekend yeah. and stuff. But yeah, there's I, definitely I mean, I think like, it is a day for partying, but also you do either you're like take a moment, take a moment of silence uh, if you're. If you're one who prays, put in a prayer, go to a cemetery, yeah. um, visit. They yeah, always put they always somebody. put the American flags out in the cemeteries. Like yeah. I always go to the VA on Memorial Day, actually. Um, so, yeah, just do something to honor those well, that's men and what, women who died for us. Party, but. Yeah. Well, you know. that's what my I have some friends who are in the Marines and stuff. And now that they're they're out and, and they do celebrate Memorial Day and they do uh, have like barbecues and mm-hmm. stuff and invite friends over. But it's a little bit like while we're still like drinking and having fun, like it's it's still like a little bit somber, like mm-hmm. kind of because, you know, they were like in war. They they saw it. And sure. Stuff. So it's like it hits them obviously differently. You know? Yeah, I mean, growing up for me, it was it was a Monday off from school. Like, I it right. didn't oh I, yeah it didn't up, yeah, right. resonate with me um, growing up because I d- I didn't serve and um, really wasn't close to a lot of people that did serve or or fought in right. combat. See, I'm friends with a lot of people who have served or are still serving and stuff. Yeah. I didn't serve, but I'm friends with a lot of people. But I'm not. I don't know anyone who personally died. Well, a lot of your, you're young, so a lot of the people you know weren't in an actual war. Right. Like, but even like my uncle, like he fought in Vietnam and stuff, but like, you know, he didn't die in Vietnam. So it's like, you know, I don't have anybody technically that I know personally who. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I I don't, I'm not against anyone. Like, as I was picking on that lady, I'm not against anyone that if you want to say thank you to a veteran that, that did fight. Oh, for sure. You know, like I mean, the, I, a veteran's going to appreciate that, but, but you can do that any they, day too. Like, yeah, you but, shouldn't. Yeah, but like I said, the the veterans I've spoken to, they it's not about them. 
Right. No, no, no. Yeah, today, it's about the people is, who lost. Yeah, yeah. Today's about people that they that they lost. Lost so, their lives. You know, I got. I guess do celebrate the way you want to, but if you're some sort of uh, self righteous, self serving, uh, I'm a patriot today, but then I fr- forget about everything because you know I'm celebrating another holiday tomorrow, like right, right. Lucky Pennies or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I know that was a few weeks ago, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but it's just um, don't don't pretend that you're like this amazing patriot just because of the day it's convenient for you to look that way you know? right. oh it's, yeah for sure you know show your appreciation any way you can and i think i think that's all you can do yeah i think so yeah well said brett mm-hmm. you you also hear a lot of uh it's the unofficial mark of the beginning of summer like every like yeah when i was looking yeah. up memorial day it was all like all oh, this memorial day it also is the beginning of summer. Uh, it's really like uh, that up north. I think like up north is a big, it's probably their first like weekend of really yeah. nice outside weather. And Labor no, Day is the end of summer type of thing. So right. like perfect barbecue time anyway. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. When, so, one thing I don't like are the Memorial Day sales. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's the shit weird. that pisses me off. <laughs> yeah. I don't think a guy that got his, brain, his brains blown out in the war cares whether or not I save 50% on a mattress. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's kind of weird. So no I, offense to the mattress I've never companies. Did we just lose another sponsor? <laughs> yeah, well, Lisa Mattress won't be sponsoring. She's Brett. Uh, sorry, Losing all the sponsors yeah. for us. I guess I won't be welcome just back. Just picking fights <laughs> with every everybody. Damn, just damn commercialism, yeah, yeah, just in damn general. You. So how you how do you feel about parades? They always have Memorial Day parades, right? I think that's fine. I hate parades. I mean, I <laughs> I think it's fine to celebrate, but yeah, I don't go to parades. Yeah, I don't, I don't think about. I mean, yeah, too. if you if if you Memorial like parades, Day. yeah, for sure, you know, parade it out. But if you ask me, Brett, do you want to go to a parade? My answer will be no. Yeah. So you're more of a firework guy. Fireworks are all right. I you had I, to choose. I don't parade like I don't like crowds of people. Right. I don't like traffic. I don't like waiting in line. You're a musician. I don't like. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You want people you to want show crowds up. Crowds of people. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's probably. If they're there really for you, thing. it's a different story. I don't selfish know if I like much. That. <laughs> wow, man, I took a nasty yeah. turn on this one. Didn't I? I retract everything I said. I stand corrected. No, I agree with you though. Like, I don't like my my whole thing is like even like not to go off track, but like Gasparilla and stuff. Like going downtown, it's just like Dude, that's, it's a, a, that's a nightmare. Finding parking, yeah, like, yeah, no. So like parades, any kind of like big celebrations. Like I've done the fireworks before. I don't need to keep doing them. Yeah, like, even Fourth of July. Like it's just it's like hell to get downtown and stuff. It's it, just well, see, years ago it, I worked at Disney. I mean, that's the only job I ever had. But when I clocked out, fireworks were exploding. You know? <laughs> yeah. like, I saw fireworks. Every I saw fireworks day. like every day. And not that I, not that I hated it, but you get, but after a while, it's, it's like, yeah. sometimes like, like you can't. So at, at magic kingdom, you get on a bus mm. to go back to your car. Like that's how they do right. it. Well, right. they, they're not running those buses until after the fireworks. So if you worked a 10 hour you're day, you've like, you know, you go to the fireworks room, again. God and now it. you're like going to the, you're going to the bus. And I'm like, all right, buses aren't going to run for another half hour because the fi- we can't run them during the fireworks. What? Because it, it's a safety thing. Because the buses go right past where the fireworks uh, are ignited. Damn. We did get to do it one time. Like we were just yelling at the bus. Right? I was like, they're not doing it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we want to go home. Poor guy drove. And next thing you know, like fireworks are just like, Wow. Shooting past the bus or whatever it was like in a really boring version of speed, but with fireworks. Nice. Uh, but yeah, my yeah, fireworks are just kind of. They, I mean, I, I forget how excited people get about them because yeah. they don't see them every day. Yeah, I just think they're better than the parade. <laughs> they are. I will say that. Yes, yeah. I agree. Because you can and least, you can see them from your house sometimes. Yeah, depending yeah. Where you live. and it's at night, so it's not as hot. You know, yeah, you get true. to hang out like on a blanket and all that parade, yeah, and you're sitting out there all day, yeah. all day. Watching, watching people cars wave from a and, fire engine or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Okay, you guys want to hear some history about Memorial Day? Yes. Can't All wait. right, so Civil War ended in 1865, and that yep. claimed more lives than any other conflict in U.S. history. But also... So, okay, sorry. we're already going to go ahead. I know, I know. It's just... <laughs> Whenever people say that, it's like, yeah, we fought ourselves, so of course we're going to lose the most people. <laughs> like, it just kind of seems like like the enemy was Americans. Like Fair. It's like Americans versus Americans. Of course we're going to lose a lot of people. Sorry. Anyway, right. so... My bad. Invite me back on I Confederate flag that. day. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah, a lot to say yeah, about that, yeah, too. Yeah, okay. After the Civil War, it required the establishment of the country's first national cemeteries because right. so many people died. Mm-hmm. Um, and by the late 1860s, Americans in various towns and cities uh, had begun... Like uh, holding springtime tributes to these countless fallen soldiers, decorating their graves with flowers and reciting prayers. 
Um, and it wasn't until 1971 when it became official federal holiday. 1971? Yeah. Oh, that's wow. almost, what, 100 years later? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know it was that uh, late. 71. Huh. I mean, it was still, like, celebrated and, like, observed. Right, but just not but n- it national. Wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, like, a national thing. So. And then that's but, when the mattresses started going on sale in <laughs> 71? Yep. 72. Like, the, great, <laughs> the great mattress Next sale of 72? Yeah. But for decades, it was observed on May 30th. But in 1968, Congress passed the Uniform Monday Holiday Act, which established the day as the last Monday in May in order to create a three-day weekend for federal employees. It's kind of interesting, though. Like, what what is it about the, you know, Martin Luther King Day and, like, Memorial Day, Labor Day? What is up with this, the first Monday, last Monday, third Monday of the month? It's, like, a, it's about assuming, the three-day weekend. Yeah, but, it like, is? like that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's literally I mean, I guess it, it makes well, sense, but, like, why not? Yeah, I guess. Uh, it's for federal uh, employees yeah. to, to take an extra day. I am. And, but Veterans Day is, is November 11th. I mean, Isn't it's... It? No, it's, a it's Friday. It's, or... it's November 11th. No matter what. Oh, yeah, right, no matter right, what right, day right, 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 right. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I, it fell on a Friday before, and that was a three day weekend. So yeah, but I mean, I, but that's whenever. Yeah, but I'm sure people more like they want like the three day weekend rather than like a day off on a Wednesday. Um, yeah, yeah, in the middle of the week because you can't mm-hmm. really. I mean, if you're partying, you can't really celebrate in the middle of the week. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think people can drink more on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, no, but three... I've never had like a steady nine to five job like a lot of people. Yeah. So that doesn't really affect me. I work weekends. Yeah. I've always worked weekends. I mean, today's Tuesday. Me too. Some other day. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Doing great. Solid, Brett. It was Tuesday. Right, my calendar it was will wrong. be Tuesday. Tomorrow's yeah, Tuesday be. and I have the day off. Yeah. 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 Remember, we're celebrating this Memorial Day. <laughs> Doing great, guys. Yeah. That was perfect. So uh, I'm not cutting any of that out either. It's so fine. who cares? <laughs> we celebrate on each day, guys. Yeah. Every day we're celebrating on that specific day. Okay. <laughs> it takes a lot out of us because we have to get here in the studio every day, but we're here to celebrate those days specifically every single day. Every single day. There. Now that that's out of the way, we're good, and we can move on in case we ever have another episode where we almost blow our cover. <laughs> We already blew it. <laughs> yeah, we've already done that plenty Multiple of times. Multiple times. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Anything else about Memorial Day, though? No, I just hope everyone has a great Tuesday tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, solid. I have one more thing. I'm going <laughs> to okay. read you guys a poem because okay. one way that people celebrate is by wearing uh, red poppy. Um, I don't know how that the tradition started with this poem. Mm-hmm. Um, it's called In Flanders Field by John McCray, I think is how you pronounce it. All right. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place. And in the sky, the lark still bravely singing fly scarce hard, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunsets glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from falling hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep through poppies grow in Flanders fields. So that was, yeah. It's a poppy. Red red poppy. The red 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 poppy. So people wear red poppy like on their shirts. I think like, is is it England and Canada and then probably go one and the same or used to, is it Remembrance Day? Yeah, I think so. I think that's, yeah. Remembrance Day, yeah. Sounds familiar. Is it the same day? Probably not. I don't think so. Yeah, no. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Well, well I think that's it right. for Memorial Day. Yeah. yeah. But Unless except you guys for anything. what? Oh, <laughs> we do have to find out. The main point of this podcast. That's true. We do need to find out. Do you have cake on Memorial Day? I'm sure people do. I'm sure they do. I, don't I, know. I mean, I honestly I think you can. Would. I don't know if I. I've never. Because this is like a national holiday, we've celebrated it before, unlike some of the other days that we've been celebrating on this podcast. But uh, this one we celebrated before. I don't think I've ever had cake on Memorial Day. Neither have I. So I'm just going to go with that. I don't think it's a staple. No, definitely not. I just don't think it's not. It's not something you necessarily have to add, but like you can do it. And I'm sure a lot of people do have cake because Mm -hmm. of barbecues. Some of of our other sad days we ate cake just because it's a sad day. That's true. And you could have like a red, white, and blue cake or something. Or you could have a cake with poppies on it. Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, technically, I mean, you could have a cake today. I'm going to say like I probably won't have a cake today. Me neither. I think I'm not going to do it. If you guys are eating a cake today, well, then uh, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. 
I mean, you can. Yeah. We're not saying don't. Remember yeah. your fallen brothers personally and sisters yeah. while you eat that sugary, sugary goodness. Yeah. And I mean, appreciate I be, your freedom. I, you know, like, you, you, have you ever heard of those meals called, like, you know, the MREs, ration meals that yeah. they give soldiers? I've had those before, and, yeah. uh, Do they have cake? Well, some of them some do, of them actually. have, like, oh, brownie, yeah. I think, they'll, and stuff. They'll yeah. have, like, a cookie or dessert, and, and or they'll have, like, Hawaiian punch or something, and it's just to give the soldiers a feeling of home. Right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if, so, I mean, if we were I in, do that. if we were in wartime, or if there's a, a soldier out there that's has to go through his or her MRE, if you're having cake today, then, you know, hope yeah. come back home safe. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Okay, Sounds I think good. that's it for Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day, guys. Uh, thank you for joining us again, Brett, Robert, and Amber. See you soon. Bye. Seven Lamb Production.